Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Thursday, October 27th, and the moon is in uh, Sag. The moon moved into Sagittarius uh, five minutes to seven this morning, a.m., and uh, now, um, but before it moved into Sag, it made a trine to Jupiter. Um, or let's see, as it moved into Sag, as it moved into Sag, it made a trine to Jupiter. Jupiter is at the first degree of Aries. That is a, um, a world point. <laughs> So whenever planets hit the world points, those are the first uh, degrees of the cardinal signs, we usually see a shift uh, in the world, actually. And certainly, there are a lot of things going on right now that we can uh, say uh, maybe Jupiter in Aries is, uh, is stimulating. Uh, we also have today a square between Mercury and Pluto. Squares uh, are crisis producing. The square is a crisis in consciousness. There's a crisis in the way we think about things, um, especially our relationship to power. Uh, do you feel powerful? Do you feel powerless? Uh, do you feel that those in power, uh, you're on the same page with them? Uh, or are you going somewhere else, <laughs> so to speak, with your mind? This can uh, create issues around control, people trying to control what you think, which of course, you know, the thought police, right? That kind of thing. Um, but it's also an opportunity for us to think very deeply. And if you can get over the tendency to bicker and argue and fight and utilize that energy to uh, come up with some new solutions to things, and to think deeply, this would be the day to uh, to do that because we're going to be thinking deeply anyway. We might as well consider solutions. We certainly have plenty of problems. As I say, we don't really need more problems. We need more solutions. So if we can um, sort of approach the day in that way, perhaps the solutions will uh, will uncover themselves. So we have a beautiful morning here. It was uh, uh, a rainy day yesterday, uh, not too um, not too windy, but we did lose quite a few leaves. But that's the natural. To, this is the natural time, right, to to uh, lose leaves. But it's always nice to see how everything changes. This view is really kind of nice from up in the uh, in the house. You can see uh, back there behind those chairs. That's the wisteria. The wisteria is, is starting to change. Um, and up here, where the wisteria is, climbing up this tree, which we're, we actually have to do something about soon. It's a big tree to be that close to the, to the office. It's one of those poplars. It grew so fast. Like, it only took a few years, and now it's like a big tree. So that's something we have to deal with at some point. <laughs> in the in the uh in the future but maybe we'll wait till the, the leaves come off so we can see what's what's a tree and what's uh what's a vine you don't want to cut down a tree and then the vine holds it up and 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 crashes it into the, the roof or anything like that that would be bad <laughs> all right so that, on that note on that note the things that come into my mind early in the morning. All right, guys, have yourself a wonderful day. Like and subscribe if you're uh, interested. The uh, the uh, Tariscopes came out uh, this week, yesterday, the day before, I don't know. Um, so you can check those out, see if they fit for you. If they don't, that's fine. <laughs> They're for somebody. They're for somebody. All right, guys, have yourself a wonderful day. See you again tomorrow. Ooh, there's Charlie. Hi, Charlie. What you doing? Hanging out with St. Francis? He's playing in the bee warner. We have a little, um, I don't know if you can see it. 
It's like a little uh, water thing to collect water. It's actually for the bees. It's very shallow because if you if you uh, try to water the bees in a regular uh, bird bath, uh, sometimes they drown. So that's actually made for the bees. <laughs> but obviously, Charlie thinks it's made for him, which is not unusual for Charlie. I think he thinks everything is for him. I'm not going to say he's narcissistic. I'm just going to say he's a cat. <laughs> he's like, Mom, don't talk to me about me like that. And I think maybe, maybe, maybe we'll see Charlotte at the door. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, no, Charlotte. Oh, there she is. There's my girl, Charlotte at the door. She wants to come out too. So we'll let her out so she can run about. Come on, Charlotte. Here she goes. Her tail up. Very confident. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.